team continues walking the path of the largest of 15 tornadoes that devastated the Miami Valley on Memorial Day. One minute before the EF4 twister we profiled last month, and you can notice that red line behind me ended in Riverside. The 11th tornado of the night, an EF3, was born with winds up to 140 miles per hour. It quickly moved past Riverside, where the EF4 had just ended, jumping Interstate 675, landing in Beaver Creek. For some perspective, this is what Merwood Court looked like on Google Maps before the tornadoes. This is what my partners at the Dayton Daily News just found more than six months later. It doesn't even look like the same place. It's really breathtaking. Similar, this is what our New Center 7 cameras captured today with the emphasis on how many trees are gone. It is clear just how life changing that storm was. One man who lives here told our partners at the Dayton Daily News the change in scenery looks like a lost land. Every tree on his property is gone, but he's going to stay here. While he quickly received insurance money, our team heard a common theme from him about finding contractors to make repairs. And we had so many trees in this neighborhood, you could not see down to 675 from here, but now I can look out the picture window and see right down to 675. Teresa Stichinoth is sad about the tremendous tree loss in the Beaver Creek neighborhood. She's grateful repairs have been made to her roof, shed, and fence, and most grateful for the many lives saved. I'm just thankful to God that nobody was hardly hurt in this tornado because people could have been extensively hurt. These people in these houses over here with the roofs blowed off and stuff in their house was sucked out. I don't know how they made it, but they did. Now, according to the Greene County Auditor's damage map, all but one of the 86 properties destroyed and a vast majority of the 206 with major damage were attributed to the same 10 mile long EF3 tornado. Coming Sunday in the Dayton Daily News, Chris Stewart and Josh Schweigert's reporting expands our coverage, including looking at how the EF4 impacted Riverside. And by the way, Riverside was just part of our extensive series looking at how all communities the EF4 touched are recovering six months later. You can watch all three parts right now on WHIO TV now. That's our free app you can download on Roku, Amazon Fire, Apple TV devices. I'm Chief Meteorologist McCall Vrydags, News Center 7.